Hey guys, Mad Friday, welcome back to another quick episode from me. Alright, so I'm just having a little go in the tier 10 Waffentrager. Six shot autoloader. Um, I do quite well in this thing, yet my win rate wouldn't suggest that. I pretty much every time am top on damage, but we lose. Uh, is that my fault? I don't know. Possibly, possibly not. Maybe I should do more damage. But this game, we don't lose. But you would never guess how we win the game. That's all I'm going to say for the minute. Right, so I'm pushing this way. Team are doing the uh, usual. Either just camping flag or everybody going just one way. So I know it's just T71. He's going to push out round and go and get some vision for us. So I need to go far enough to look after him, but not too far, but I get left out on the own with my pants down, basically. Uh, he's gone over the top. So anything that he finds now, I don't have a shot. But like I said, I'm a bit worried about going too far without any support. The enemy team have three artilleries. And obviously I have no armor on my turret. So a direct hit from uh, one of those artilleries could pretty much ruin my game right from the start. The light tank doesn't seem to have picked anything up, so I'm going to push in a little bit further. Give him some support. It's about now spot a Flying T62. Look at that, he's right. Bounce the first one, track the second one, hit the wall with the third, pen the fourth, pen the fifth, and then track with the sixth. Right, so I'm in a bit of a tricky situation now, so what I didn't want to do. I can't really reverse back because he'll get shots on me, and I can't push forward because there's loads of enemies, so I'm just going to have to go for it. Artillery's bound to zoom in anytime soon. And time to just chill out while I get this reload going. I think that T71 is now dead. That's a shame, could really done with keeping him alive. Right, so I'm going to reverse out from behind this hill. Almost loaded. Missed the first. Ah, now we got him, we've got him. Right, so I've got half a clip left, what do I do? Well, I'm going to run and hide from Artie first. That E100 is gone over the berm and I can't give him any support now, so he's on his own. I don't want to YOLO too much really, because it is a defence, all we need to do is stay alive. Right, this i 3 is getting rushed by pattern. I've got three shots. One, two, three. Leave the pattern on a one shot, all he needs is a good ram. Can that IS-3 sort it out before he dies? He's on low health too. Right. No, he misses his chance. So there's a pattern around there. I've got at least 30 seconds before I reload, so I've got to get, I've got to deal with this now. I can't muck around. There he is. I'm going to take some damage, but I need this dealt with. Ram him, kill him. That arty shot misses. Do take one. Put the tracks back in and get out of the way before another one comes in. So we did take a little bit of damage from the arty there. And one shot from the pattern. But we finished off that pattern and now hopefully the artillery don't have any more vision across this side of the map.
what you guys need to be looking at now is what's going on around the C3 area. I hadn't noticed it yet, but if you have a look, you might just be able to see the icons doing something there. Seen anything? Look, they're just off to my left there. Right, it's about C95. Boom, he's done. No shots on that guy. Picking nothing up with the binos. There they are. Look, now it's now I spot what is the hell is going on down there. I gather from what the rough few things I heard in chat, one of them got stuck. Another one went down to try and help him out and got stuck. And guess what? A third one went down and got stuck as well. So we have one tier 9 and two tier 8 heavy tanks stuck in the bottom of that little dip. And it catches me out as well, I was too busy looking at them and laughing. Now I spot this Yag Tiger a bit late. Gonna punish him, but it's gonna get me aimed at by artillery. And I get I get greedy, I go in for the kill shot. And I bounce it and artillery takes the rest of their health, leaves me tracked in front of a Yag Tiger with no repair kit. And that's the end of my game. But we did take most of that Yag Tiger's health and left him on left him as a one shot. Hopefully some of our team with full health can deal with him. So Yag Panzer's been flanked and here they are. Doopy 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 doo. I want to go in through the head. If you wiggle a bit, I'll wiggle a bit and then maybe we get loose, yeah? Oh, nice and comfy down here. Hopefully artillery won't spot us. He might get a free man bombardier's medal. We have a look around the rest of the map now. It is only these three left and the two artilleries. And there's a minute twenty left on the clock. Obviously I want to win. Will the enemies cap out or will they try and kill everything with a minute left on the clock? So Artie's been spotted and taken care of, it's just these three left. Can they last 50 seconds? I suppose if it works it's a good tactic but I wouldn't suggest trying it. If the enemy team had any brains they would have just capped out and got the game finished with. 30 seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. Ten. Can they pull a win out of their ass? There we go. 
One tier 9 and two tier 8 heavy tanks that didn't do one point of damage to the enemy team managed to pull out a, a victory. I couldn't believe it. Obviously, uh, it's not probably not a good tactic to try out, guys, but it was just funny and totally unexpected. Right, let's have a look at the results. So I finished off one of my... Uh, like achievement medal things. I've got a high caliber, a few ribbons, only class 3 mastery. A lot of my shots were at range and properly lit up by enemy uh, sorry, friendlies, so I probably only got half points for them. Decent amount of damage done, there we go. Second on the team, and look at that. The two guys left didn't do any damage at all. Happy days. Right, there we go guys, something a bit humorous for the weekend. And uh, I shall catch you next week with something a little bit more serious. Maybe another tier 10 tank review and maybe some map tactics, something like that. Right, cheers guys, as ever. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you next time.